Hi, James. Six. Hey, six. Ian. Seven, but I haven't written it down. Okay, six then, James. Finals. Finals? Yeah, indeed. Finals. Exams, the finals. Ian. Fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Fashion. <laughs> Just spell it. F A S H I O N. Right, I don't know. The audience laughed at that, I don't know why. But perhaps, they, perhaps they misheard and thought, with your reputation, passion. you were saying passion. <laughs> 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 anyway, fashion's okay, yeah. We, we've got a, a slightly risque one, along with Randiest, uh, liaison. <laughs> <laughs> Leads to. <laughs> yes, it does. And also, there's a, an odd little fish called an oil fish of seven letters, but we couldn't beat seven. Yes, there is um, an office large violet or purple brown escolar, which is a long predatory fish, the flesh of which is oily and unpalatable. It's unpalatable. That's <laughs> 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 not what you like to know, nonetheless. <laughs> right. So we won't be having that for our tea. <laughs> well, we've got uh, one of each left now, 86 and 46, so it's Ian's letters. Uh, consonant, please, uh, Carol. Y. Consonant. C. Vowel. O. Consonant. N. Consonant. M. Vowel. E. Consonant. You didn't run out of them today. R. Consonant. K. Vowel, please. There's two consonants left in the box, and you have me. OK, let's go on. Ian? Seven. James? Only six. What's the six, James? Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> yes. so, right, monkey. Well, a monkey, but here's the seven. Mockery. Very good. Mockery. Yes, that's a good one. I think a <coughs> round of applause for that, because that's a difficult one, that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's good. I bet you didn't get that, did you? Yes. Oh, you yeah. did? Yes. No. Susie's not... <laughs> I didn't. It's written there. <laughs> You're making a mockery of the thing. Mockery sub. Right. We'd reckon and conquer and monkey. Right. And mockery then in the last <laughs> inspiration <laughs> came mockery. Yes. Ironism. Well. Okay, well, we, 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 you're, such a, you're such a believable fellow that we believe you, don't we, Susie? We do. Yes. <laughs> right, well, anyway, it's only academic because the scores for the real people are 93 and 46 so he's got a good chance of getting his century with two rounds to go but james might stop him by doing a good numbers game james oh, your numbers. james too big <laughs> oh <laughs> and four small or you two more big ones four small ones four small <laughs> he's a boy who knows his own mind this one no arguing with james right we have 10 and 8 4 and 6 all even mm. apart from that 75 and 50 uh, and a target of 665. 665. 665. Six six five, James. Um, I've got six six five, but I haven't fully written it down. Okay, as long as you can tell it to me when I ask you, Ian. Six seventy. Six seventy. Okay, well here you go, James. Here's your chance. Right. Okay. Um, eight plus four is twelve. Eight plus four gives you twelve. Times it by the fifty is six hundred. It is indeed. Uh, and, and add the seventy-five and take away the ten. Absolutely right. <laughs> Good that. <laughs> I love you for that. That's good. How good is that, Carol? Excellent. Excellent. So, well done. What a way. 
to go. 56 there. Uh, and 93 now. You could stop him getting this century. We have the conundrum. It's not crucial, obviously. But just to remind everybody that uh, yesterday, in the whole of the audience, uh, young James was the only person to get uh, yesterday's conundrum, uh, which was supported. So here we are now. Both ready. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. Yep, and the buzzer rings. Don't have James to say. Alcoholic. Alcoholic. Should know about these sort of things at your age. <laughs> and there it is. Okay, well, that's very good, uh, James. And I know you were just behind uh, Ian because you were, yes, sort of, you were sort of yes. saying it as he was pressing. Yes. It's uh, easy to do. But well done. You got the uh, points there, 66 and 93. But with a 93, very good game for Ian Buckley. Well done, Ian. <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> yeah, and I think, James, uh, you're a really bright spark, actually, and a, a good lad. And... Uh, <laughs> Who knows? I think we might probably see you again in one of our uh, special games. You know, we, yeah. we come back and we bring yeah. young, you know, the best of the four yeah. senior olds and all that kind of yeah. stuff. OK, so you come <laughs> back again. OK. Yeah. Meanwhile, we hope you have a great career at school and uh, might end up as a great soccer commentator. Who knows? <laughs> However, uh, here's the goodie bag to a very good and popular and bright young guy, James Robinson. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, I love you, James. And... Uh, we love you, Magnus, but we have to say farewell. Parting is such sweet sorrow. So a great uh, and interesting week, as always. Very interesting and a pleasure and a privilege to have with us Magnus Magnus. And farewell, Magnus. <laughs> well, on Monday, we've got a new team. Well, Susie's there, but my God, we've got Joan Bakewell. So Susie Dent and Joan oh. Bakewell. Oh, oh <laughs> I think I'll go home. <laughs> so that's that, and Carol will be keeping order over there. Certainly will. So, okay, well, have a great weekend, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed our little sessions this week. We had a lot of fun, and uh, we leave you with me saying goodbye. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. <laughs>